it's Kyle with RMRD Technologies. In this short tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to change the filament on a Lulzbot TAS5 model 3D printer. All right, so the first step in swapping out your filament is you're gonna to wanna to preheat your extruder to approximately 200 to 230 degrees Celsius. Just enough so that you can actually pull the existing filament from the hot end. I've already gone ahead and preheated the extruder using this matter control touch controller that I have. Very convenient. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and pull the filament from the hot end very carefully not to put excess strain on the, on the printing head here. So we're just going to carefully remove this, pull this out of the hot end, try to take any excess plastic that's in the hot end with it. Make sure there's no goops left over in your nozzle or in your hot end. Be a bit stringy. There we go, so now we have the plastic removed. We're going to take the existing filament and push it back through the feeder tube and re-roll it onto our existing spool so that we can reuse this spool later on. You're going to want to be careful not to have the filament tangle up on the spool or else it can be a real challenge to get it back on afterwards. And we're going to remove this from the spool mount on the printer. So we're all set. We've got our print ready. All right, now that we have our old spool removed and, and pulled from the hot end of our 3D printer, we're going to want to go ahead and get ready with our new spool. We're going to be going with a Matter Hackers Seafoam Green color in three millimeter ABS plastic. First step is you want to mount this on the spool mount such that the filament is coming off the bottom of the spool, just like this. So with that said, I'm going to slowly feed the loose end of the filament into the feeder tube. You'll be able to visually see that the filament is going into the tube. All right, now we have our filament through the feeder tube ready to go into our hot end. So next, we need to trim the end of the filament so that it can easily enter the hot end of the 3D printer. I'm gonna do that by taking some side cutters and cutting the filament on an angle so that it's easily guided into the hot end without additional obstruction. If there's any loose ends, you might want to go ahead and pick those off just so it has the, a smooth transition to the hot end. I'm going to now go ahead, slowly straighten out a small section of the filament and insert it into our hot end. go. Now, you can tell when you're actually engaged in the hot end and the filament is entering as if you press down with any force here, you'll see filament coming out of the nozzle. That's a very good indication that we have plastic entering the nozzle, the new seafoam plastic is mixing in. And so now as we see here, the color of the filament coming from the nozzle is a mix between the white, which we previously had, and the seafoam, which we had now. We're going to want to go ahead and purge all of the white from the nozzle to make sure that we get a consistent coloring on our next print. Now this can be done manually just by pressing like I am now. Pressing very carefully and I'm supporting the hot end with my left hand so as not to put any excess force on the unit. All right, so now that we have the filament in the hot end, we've pushed it out. We know that it's coming out green, just like the color we want to use. So now we're going to engage the extruder track bearing by just folding over this clip here and enforcing it with the lock. So now this is locked in here, it's controlled. The purpose of purging the hot end on the 3D printer is to ensure that you get a consistency in the color of your new prints. You see here we actually switched between 
a blue 3D printing filament and a white filament. And that's result, resulted in this marbleizing effect that we get here on the lower layers. See, by the time we reached the top of the part, it was pure white. But at the very first few layers, we were getting a little bit of that blue that was left over in the hot end. And when you switch colors, you really want to try to avoid this effect so that you, know, you get the cleanest color possible on your new prints. So when you're switching the color that you'll be printing with your 3D printer, you want to make sure that you thoroughly purge the nozzle and the hot end from any of that previous color that you had been using. Otherwise, you get an, a marbleizing effect between the two colors. So as I showed previously, you can physically press the filament through the hot end to see when it's changed color, or you can actually control that with the extruder motor. So I'm going to, in my matter control touch, I'm going to go to the movement controls and I'm going to hit the extrude command. All right, so now I'm satisfied and I'm sure that we've thoroughly purged the hot end of any of the old white filament which we've been previously using. Now we're ready to go ahead and start our new print.